Hello people, glad to see you. Today I'm going to be showing you a TL7 record. So you can think of wasting money on the boxes. It's not my fault if you, bo if you void. I tell you, this tank is not great. It's less than a G-Sor, but earns premium and, and bonds. Nothing else. Let's go! Well, this is the TL7 Tank Destroyer Tier 9. Almost 40 seconds reload, like the Gisor. It has very, very bad. I don't know. I, I don't like it. I know it can be good, but it can it can be bad too. And in many battles, it's bad. Uh, sorry for that. I was so pissed at the moment. The tank now is going bonds miraculously because that shot could have be easily a penetration. The turret is not sturdy enough to bounce premium shots. I don't know how. Almost like it <laughs> didn't have to be. Well, this tank is fast shooting, 2.3 seconds intra clip reload, but the aiming, the aiming is shit, the aiming is shit, the aiming is shit. You're going to see now how shit this tank is. Ta -da -ta -da. Now I'm going to move and the LHM is going to appear in front of me because that's what happens. I don't know where the shot went, that's bullshit, I think, at least he, now the tracks, and finally the tank, but two of four ta shots were to nothing to a light tank, a freaking light tank, <laughs> that has no place to be bones in shells. Two hundred and fifty seven penetration at and I break the, the freaking tracks and you have to wait almost forty seconds to be able to do something again. It's the waiting tank, but not the camperos waiting tank. It's the waiting tank frontally. Hello Goodbye. Oh, I got lucky there. I was lucky th this battle. No one was aiming at me. And I could do whatever I want. Like, whatever I want. 1.9k damage and only one shot from this cap. This tank has no armor. I don't have to explain where the armor is. It doesn't exist. The armor doesn't exist. <laughs> and you are pissed and you can't stop complaining. I was so pissed and I couldn't stop complaining. Hello, sorry, and goodbye. Look at this. Look at this. One to nothing. 
And now we... <sighs> Thank God I decided to go to the base. Thank God, cuz if I if it wasn't because we all went base, we should we could have lost this battle. I'm in hard terrain and I can reach my top speed of 50. And well, I did all the hard to do, and I died. Maybe we could have lost, maybe not. I mean, so I did three kills, three point eight damage, four hundred assistance, and I bounce one single shot, just one. Mm, you have the stats. Is a photo. I can say more than what you can see. 171k credits, 2k experience, 7 bones, first experience, and first up damage. 16 shots, 15 hits, 12 penetrations, and this is all. I hate this tank. But it earns credits like a tier 8 and bones like a tier 10. It's the only good thing. Well, as you can see, I end up first in damage, first in experience, but I miss so many shots and I bones so many hits. I don't like this tank, the aiming and the snipe mode is not good. You have to go first against the enemy. And in this meta where the tanks are fast and wait more than you, it's like you're risking them ramming you or having an autoloader that you don't... If you miss a shot, you might end up being killed by a tier 8. And that's it, because 40 seconds of reload against a medium tank, like I don't know, uh, the STA, if you don't kill him in your first in your four shots, he will kill you because you won't be able to escape. It's not a good tank. I don't recommend it. The G sword is fun and I like it, but I think it's better than this tank. For some reason, I I feel it more more capable and it has two seconds intra clip reload, while this have has 2.3 seconds and that's a lot more. And with the G-Sword you can snipe and that's pretty interesting. With this one you can't because the 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 three trigger cycle is I think a little bit bigger than the G-Sword and the aiming time is shit. So well this was all for today. If you like my content, subscribe, I will videos every day. Thanks for watching, see you tomorrow, bye!